morning everyone, welcome back to some more Terraria. So we're gonna be playing some more of our well the fabulous arena. We are a melee character, which is probably I don't even know. Yeah, but we're just gonna continue off of what we were doing last time. So just more mining. Or we could do some fishing. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, so, uh, I don't even know what we'll do in this episode. Anyway, I'm just gonna go explore the world. I'm finally exploring to the right side. Like, beyond that little mountain. So hopefully there'll be something good. Although it's really dark out. Oh, we found a fishing spot. I'm gonna collect this tree so we can build over it. Oh, it's a star. Ah! I'm gonna die. Never mind. Alright. Fallen stars are only gonna be good, useful for, um... Oh, I'm out of torches. Yeah, but they're really only gonna be useful for enchanted nightcrawler. Speaking of which, we can make... We can probably... Yeah, we can make one right now. Just have to kill this guy first. Boom. Ow! Do you and I do a lot of damage? So far, there isn't anything too good. Another huge pool of water, though. Oh, got an apple. Ah! What? Oh yeah, I forgot we- I got a lucky horseshoe. I remember back in like, before Fledgling Wings, when you'd find lucky horseshoes in islands. Alright, well we found a chest, so hopefully we'll get something good in it. Climate claws, that's actually not bad. Alright, we gotta wipe out these guys real quick. Oh yeah, a torch zombie. Let's just kill this demon eye real quick. And let's keep going. Alright, so we appear to have found another cave. Ooh, there's a bunch of lead. That'll be useful for, like, nothing right now, but it'll be useful once we get into hard mode for crafting boss summons. Alright, let's see what's down here. So far, nothing really useful. Some more torches. Hopefully there's something somewhat good in this cave. We have found yet another life crystal. And a bat statue. What's this do? Oh, we're supposed to spawn bats. What's up here? Nothing. In here. Oh my, I might drown. This is a really deep water pool. I can't even see what's happening right now. Well then, that kind of sucks. Alright, after a successful mining, I don't know, excursion, 
I got some more. I'll need 60 silver bars if I want armor. That's better than what I've got right now. And if I want to take on a boss, I want at least Hermes boots and a jump. Like a double jump. I've got 200 health, so I could probably go try to fight the goblins. I'll probably do that. I'm going to explore the world anyway. So yeah. Alright, while exploring the world, we seem to have found a living tree. Ooh, an umbrella, that's actually pretty good. And the can of worms? I just got a bunch of worms. I actually don't need an umbrella at all. What is this? Sticks. There we go. This is some weird world gen. This is wow, this is a massive mountain. And here we have a spear that's actually pretty decent. Is the umbrella better than the spear? I don't really care. And the other kind of worms, I just got a ton of worms. Alright, well, it looks like we can go at least deeper into the tree on this one. Why is there a squirrel in here? Ooh, I want a spiking. Oh, I killed the squirrel. Although, I want a spiking is useless to me. A blowpipe? Man, this world gen is so cursed. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else in this living tree? Don't look like it, so let's keep exploring. Man, I don't think I've seen anything this, like... Odd in world gen in like a while. Like there's literally just a single tree in a floating island. Weird. Looks like we found the jungle. And another chest. Ooh, a boomerang. That's actually gonna be pretty good. But I'm pretty sure in this version of the game, you can make an enchanted boomerang. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's actually pretty powerful. Down here. Alright, so I'm looking for a couple things so far. First thing I want to do is make it to a, an evil biome. I think this world's... Crimson. I don't exactly remember. Well, so I think it is. So I want to find a crimson for maybe the white pet and the rotted fork. Well then, I feel an evil presence watching me. All right. gonna go build a little platform and then I'm gonna grab all my buffs and hope it's, that I'm good enough I don't think I, I'm there's no way I'm gonna win potions I don't need you or you you they give me regen, better healing. And now I don't have any bottled water. Alright, well, we're gonna die. Oh, it's storming too. I'm just gonna keep placing more platform until this boss spawns. Alright, time to die. Oh, I forgot to put on my buff.
Yeah, as you can see, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this. I'm definitely going to want better weapons, like maybe a thorn chakram. We're actually not doing terrible damage or taking too much damage, it's just once we get to the quick dashes, is when we're definitely gonna die. Ah. Man, if Fallen Star could hit the eye Cthulhu. I have 200 health, so one of my potions will heal me to full if I'm at half. I'm actually doing decent damage, I'm just gonna, like, it looks good right now, but as soon as it starts dashing quick, it's when I'm gonna die. Because I don't think I can dodge that, yet. Maybe, actually. If the Ica Fuga continues to be, like, kind of broken. For some reason, when the Eye Cthulhu dashes really quick like that, it can't hit me. No, it definitely can, never mind. Oh, this sucks. And there's still a while until I can use the healing potion. Eight seconds until I can heal. Good thing I have decent healing potions. Like, although, I'll pop oh man, I'm getting stun locked. Like, I can only take like one or two more hits. Aw, oh, damn. I almost beat it. But to beat it, I'll definitely need Hermes boots. Alright, after some more mining, it looks like we have found a mine chart track. Let's not go the way that's flooded. Let's go this way. I'm gonna just go real slow so I don't miss much. Oh, it's a dark trap. I really need Hermes boots. Did I see something over here? Yes, I did. I have no gel on me, I can't make sticky bombs. I also made my mace into a flaming mace, and I regret it because I lost good damage. But I also gained the fire, which will be a useful thing. 
Because I'll be able to set the eye of Cthulhu on fire, then just damage with my boomerang. And provides light. Chest. I don't... Oh, it looks normal enough. Another magic mirror. Oh, I've already been through here. I need silver. I need silver, too. And another life crystal. Oh yeah, the mining's going pretty good. Well, I'm trying to craft the silver armor, it appears. I'm one bar short. This sucks. I can also make a better hook. Oh, goodbye. Wait, is it better? I, I think it is. Alright, Amethyst hook goes up to, like, there. Topaz goes, like, a little higher. And Amethyst reaches off the ground. No, in Topaz? Yes, Topaz is better. I also got a ton of extra stuff. Ocean. My fallen star should be in here and I can make myself a ton of enchanted night crawlers. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna go do some fishing. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, after a little bit of fishing, we have one iron crate, four wood crate, and 71 bass. Probably gonna keep like 30 of the bass. Because, uh, I'll use them to make some food. And the other 41 are getting sold. Two gold. Alright, anything good? Yay, selfish boots! Alright. If I don't have a chest for fishing right now, I'll just put all my bait and fishing rod and stuff in my piggy bank. Where is my... yeah, here? I need to make a cooking pot. Put a bait there. Now I can make... What? I thought it was sashami. I guess I'll just use cooked fish for now. I wonder how much does cooked fish sell for? Probably the exact same. Well, since it's just minor improvements, I'm just gonna eat the, like, keep those minor toy. As, uh, yeah. That's a constant stat improvement. Alright, I should have more worms in here. Now I can turn those into enchanted nightcrawler. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Alright, now we wait till night time, but before then, I'm gonna make a bed. No, I'm, I'm, I need a better arena. Well, what my friend normally does for active field and it actually works most of the time. They just make a super long platform. And I'll probably use this as a mode of transportation for now. So there's no hurt in building it. Alright, so we're back in the cave, so we we'll wait for night time. And it looks like we have found a mushroom biome. There's a couple things I'd like to get from underground chests, but I'm kind of unlucky. So I doubt I'm gonna get any of them. Give me either Cloud in the Bottle or Band of Regen. Use spikes. I just got a gravitation potion, a free chest, and um. Oh. Uh, and I have two this time. And like a bunch of gold actually. I'm gonna go put that in the big bag. My piggy bank's so awesome just to carry with you. Alright, one of the other things I need from down here is just a bit of silver. Oh, I could also use the glowing mushrooms to upgrade my potions. Let's just pop down all the trees. Very slowly. 
I don't know if I like the new mushroom biomes. They're kind of weird, but at least they're bigger. Oh, we got glowing mushroom grass seed. It's gonna be useful if I ever make. It's gonna be useful for hard mode. Oh, there's a silver I need. All these bats hurts. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat the eye of Cthulhu with sailfish boots and silver armor. At least I have like two tries. <coughs> Big short time. I forget what mod it is, but some mod I have on Fairy um, on the mod loader. It makes it so sword shrines have a chance, like the fake ones, just drop a really terrible enchant sword. Oh, here's a life crystal. I also could probably use cobweb because, like, a white string. And a yo-yo would probably be good for that the high Cthulhu fight. Alright, I guess I got all I needed. Now it's time for silver armor. Is it like just upgrade one defense in every way? So I should get like probably four more defense maybe. Okay, I go from 16 to 18, so I get two more defense. Why does a lead helmet and chainmail have the same amount of defense? It's kind of dumb. Alright, quick deck nearby chest. Potions. Dunk. I'll just put honestly this in here for now because there's nowhere better for it. And I'm gonna go space. Potions, common potion, gravitation potion. Off we go. I gotta kill some harpies while I'm up here, that way I can make more gravitation potions. I hope I get something good. Oh, here's Floating Island. Honestly, base I don't think there's a single bad thing I can get from a Floating Island right now. Okay, I actually do want that. Goodbye, Climate Claw. Ow. And mace. I need a heartbeat feather, so drop your feather. Heartbeats are tough. Why is there a worm in here? I only need like one heartbeat, not like four. Alright, I got a heartbeat feather. Honestly, I don't want too many hunkies here, so we gotta go. Oh, this is a, I think it's a medium world. That's what I go for for pretty much any place where I do. Because large worlds are just too big. Star Fury. This is a super high floating island. Oh my. I thought they were normally like on the lower surface. No, this one's almost at the top of the game. And there's another shiny red balloon. Does it have a better modifier? It's all boarding. I'll take that. 
in my gravitation potion right now. I don't know if you need cloud or not, so I'm just gonna pick up some cloud. Alright, so I doubt we're gonna get a Star Fury. Unless I get a, another floating island in the next couple of seconds. But I start to doubt that that'll happen. Yeah, there goes my gravitation potion. Where am I? I'm actually pretty far out. I wanna visit the ocean. Because I need a uh, ocean fish to make a shami. And here we get climbing claws. Oh, we have an oasis. Desert Temple would be nice. Alright, I'm gonna pick up some of these. That's weird, no angler. Never mind. Platform. Give me a couple of ocean fish. Oh, a swordfish. I literally just need, like, okay, that should be enough. Hello, angler. Alright. No, I forgot my piggy bank. Quick stack near my chest. Alright, well, I guess I don't really need to, uh, get ready. Tommy's cook shrimp. Fish. Okay, potions. I want cooked shrimp. Iron skin. Oh man, should have gathered some cactus. Can I make regen? Oh no, I need a bottle. Box. Alright. Alright, for now I just need a bottle. Where do I place it? Platform. Potions, crafting, regen, better healing. I can't really make anything else. Alright, I gotta get all my weapons ready. What? This is the worst time it could have possibly happened. I'm beginning to think this game hates me. Swordfish, kill the slime.
There's so many slimes. This game definitely hates me. I have an idea. If I stay under the platform, the slimes can't land on me. This is going okay so far. Wait, why did I have a guilt? a dumb idea. This is gonna be a long video with just a lot of- wait, did I have pause recording? Okay, thank god. Just die already. Alright, there's the eye of Cthulhu, now I have to deal with Slime Rain. And probably King Slime. So I have found out that currently my most powerful weapon is my Shield of Cthulhu. King Slime has awoken. Alright, King Slime is almost dead. I basically just used this my mace and kind of ran away from him. A sword fish. Wait, I have an idea. What if I just fuck with you? Wait, I gotta get the guy. Oh, never mind. I killed it with my shield of All right. Well, we have stuff. Eugene, shot. My climbing claws, shackle. Uh, you can also have this thing. Copper, an angel statue, green slime banner. Treasure bag. I didn't get the mount. Should I? Oh, I think I. 
Wait, slime gun, solidify air, oil gel under your shirt, and... Oh, I did get them out. Hell yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll end it here. See ya.